um, also, uh, are you are you a nonprofit? Because the reason I'm asking is because I'm I'm part of an organization that helps raise money for other nonprofits, and I'm going to do one for veterans next year. And do you have a five hundred one c saying? Yeah, do you? We are fiscally sponsored our project, so we have a 501c, okay. it's the African American, San Francisco African American Chamber of Commerce Foundation. Uh, the board of directors is Mr. Fred Jordan, okay. and uh, he's a Vietnam vet, and he walked through the alley six weeks after I started this project, and he's been with us ever since, and they've been so supportive of us. Yes? I have two part question. Uh, one is, uh, I would love to uh, give my support in art, what I know of art and music. Uh, so whenever you get a facility set up, I would love to volunteer my time to teach vets uh, anything I can offer. Um, I, and also, I, I know Jane Kim, I, I volunteered with her. So next time I see her, I will say something to her about, um, you know, I don't know what she can do, but I can say, you know, I went to the collaborative meeting and I met you. Uh, but also, have you also tried to rent space from that new place that's opening on Leavenworth and Eddie? Um, which, no. The, I forget what that place is called. Let's see, he's, he's that's the one. Data. That's one he's talking about. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the uh, uh, 478. David, yeah. David Lewis, two questions yes. are about possible sources of support. Have you considered contacting San Francisco Art Commission? <coughs> and also, have you uh, considered liaising with the community benefit districts that are here in the mm -hmm. Okay, which would uh, be both sources of support. Mm -hmm. okay, the second one, I'll to address the second question first because I think that's the most pressing, uh, important to one of the tours. Uh, we haven't uh, engaged the CBD uh, just yet. I uh, was actually made aware of it. You know, I'm doing all this stuff, not essentially in the vacuum, but we were so focused, we were just doing the work at hand. I was made aware of what a CBD is um, in like maybe November, December of last year. Now, Arts Commission, on the other hand, um, yeah, we've engaged the Arts Commission and then, I mean, uh, and then we basically put our boots um, into them and we, we challenged them. And every time that I have a meeting with any one of the Arts Commission, I challenge them on um, the lack of funding um, for, um, for organizations uh, that are founded by people of color, number one, um, <laughs> veterans, yeah. but then also their support um, for the San Francisco Veterans Memorial, which um, which is right, it's going to be situated right next to the uh, Earth's, Earth's Theater, the War Memorial Building, and in that memorial is $2.5 million that the City of San Francisco and the Arts Commission um, is supporting um, wholly and fully, um, and 1.5 million dollars of it is funded by Bechtel. And um, in 2012, I sat out there with over 40 members of this community, and we sat out there for 10 weeks, and we had these acrylic pencils, these markers, and we wrote all 4,484 days all U.S. soldiers that were murdered in Iraq. And um, Bechtel Corporation was cited in 2005 by Congress as a war profiteer. And then so we felt as veterans, traditionally being voiceless, it was an affront to all 22.5 million veterans, U.S. military veterans worldwide, that the city of San Francisco and the Arts Commission would allow a war profiteer to go off, profiteer off of these young men and women's debt, and then create a memorial forest with their name on it. Okay, so we, we, have yes. another, we have some more questions. Sorry. Sandy here in the front. In the front. Uh, uh, Marge, do you have a question? Oh, um, <coughs> when we spoke a while ago, you were talking about trying to get the alley actually renamed. Did anything happen with that? Yes, what we have is um, we've got six out of eight um, business owners within the alley have uh, signed off on the petition um, for a the name change of the tenderloin side of the alley. So Shannon Alley runs between, it goes, no, Geary's here, and it goes all the way up, actually. Crosses the nose of Geary, I'm terrible. Uh, but this is like post, yeah. right? So so this is not Hill, right? Oh, yeah. And we represent the TL, so we stop here. And we 
people have talked to us about expanding up there, but we're like, no, we, we focus here on this community here. And what we want to do is we want to rename this section of the alley to Veterans Alley. We have the support of the supervisor. We have the support of the Veterans Affairs Commission. Uh, we have the support of the community members. And we have the support of the businesses. So the process now is administrative. And I, if anyone wants to volunteer and help us with going through that process, um, contact me. So, so my question is with that one issue, are you asking for honorary mention or the actual reading the, 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 the full street, which would mean you're changing the titles on all the buildings? Mm -hmm. Which one are you going after? It's so a, it's an alley, though. It's an alley, so it doesn't matter. It's it's still, it's still, you still have to do a mapping. And it's still easier to get an honorary name. The address is actually. It's yeah. easier. Which one are you going after? And Mr. Nolte, Michael, he brought this up to me um, when we actually started to engage each other. Um, I talked in the air. I mean, I really want to talk to the community about that and put that out to the community because with every street, you know, there's a history, right? Mm -hmm. Shannon Alley, it's Irish. And uh, one of the last vestiges of, um, of the Irish community and mark, landmarks there is the Irish Castle. And, um, and I'm talking to these guys, and the movie would come by and bring stuff in, and he tell me about these Irish heroes. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, well, the demographics have changed. Okay, I think you answered the question. So okay, no, who's next? Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure I understand. Are we talking about the location we're trying to, to get into? Right now, right. no, he's talking, about, he's talking about the alley uh, to change the name. Oh, yeah. I thought we were talking about He's going to several projects he's doing. Okay, so Vets Alley, Vets Alley is here. So this is uh, Vets Alley, right? This is uh, the O'Farrell, this is our first point of presence in the community. That's the mural project is here. And yes, I understand that. Now, we were petitioning this to have this, which is called Shannon, changed to Veterans Alley. Veterans? Yeah, now our that. second point of presence, because it's really <laughs> interesting too, all the kids that um, go down to the Boys and Girls Club, they all go through uh, Vets Alley, and over the years, they've been like, doing stuff with this in the alley. We want so, some so wait, Let's finish with his question. What's your question? Thank you. <laughs> what I'm trying to ask is, what is your timeline for going into Ward 76 Eddie? As you are aware, I work in that area. I work in that building with TNDC. Yes. And we are trying to locate a new spot and I recognize that you're also working with venture properties, I believe? Yes. What is your time? Um, the time frame um, with that is um, on this facility here, we're submitting our final piece of paperwork. And I'm very transparent. So the rent is $1,300 a month. That's how much we have to pay every month uh, to have that facility. And so- For how um, much square feet? Hmm? How much, what's the square footage? We have 900 square feet. 900 square feet. And it, it's so cool because um, with uh, Food for Justice, we've done work with you guys, and it's one of these younger uh, nonprofits that are coming into the TL that I just said, okay, it's a natural fit. Okay, okay. So, well, you got to keep the answer short because you're actually going over time. Yeah. So, back in the back here, uh, AJ, um, the timeline, sir, I didn't. Get the, timeline, the timeline is um, we submit the Final paperwork this week. We would hope to have um, within the next two weeks a work from them. But we, what we've included in our proposal <laughs> is to include your new food distribution. Still, you, you would still have that space with us. And um, what we would like to do is, as we build out the community center, we would actually continue to host you um, there in, in the facility, and I think it would actually add more value to. But when do you when do you want to move in? ASAP, as soon as we get the lease. Okay, um, AJ. Um, also, um, I'll talk to you offline about the uh, the uh, the name change or his, um, the honorary name because I just got done working on the Vicky Marlene. Yes. So yeah, I can so answer the question. Yeah. But uh, I had a more because we need to yeah yeah come on to the next stuff. He had a good idea about the, not changing the name of the, the part of the alley, but having like its honorary name, right? So it's not technically on the map. You're not going to change the name. It's just going to be honorarily named Vets Alley, yeah. where it have like a, a cosign on the that part of the alley. And the other question I really wanted to ask was. 
Have you done any functions in that alley to try to bring, uh, use that as, as a temporary uh, junction point? Junction point as far as like uh, doing anything to, to reach out to the community. To, 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 to reach out to the community. Just so having, you know, having some kind of vets thing in, the, in that part of the alley. Well, it's not even like a vet thing, it's a community thing, but I mean, I mean, we get we get too many people coming in um, because uh, we get so many people from the SROs that actually are so much a part of this project. But the thing is, is that um, what we like to do is uh, as a kickoff um, to like a, a, the change, the name change. We yeah. like to be able to block off the alley, the garden talk to the city, or the supervisor and uh, talk to business owner. They're okay with one day. We're going to do one day uh, block off the alley, okay. and all of the buildings are painted now. And I'm working with the city, uh, uh, Department of Public Works, and we want to paint the whole street. So we want to do a mural, do a really large mural. It's going to go and how from Geary to right O'Farrell, and this will include both veterans and non-veterans. So we'll all come in this community, and we will all paint it together. And then the word that we're going to paint there is very interesting. Okay, and we have one more question. Uh, one word. Okay. Healing. That works. Okay. Uh, Ed, what's your question? Uh, Rather than putting a mural up in a hidden alley. It's not a hidden alley. It's I, 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 I'd rather see people uh, put their efforts into getting rehab and housing and employment this is already happened for, 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 for veterans rather than... Well, 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 you see, if you look at it, if you look at it, this is the first outreach, right? Because how are you really going to meet someone on the street? Because it, it, it starts with that first conversation. It starts with you saying, okay, hey, you are someone. But convincing them to say, hey, I am someone, and taking them and putting them and having them put their name, put their work on that wall. And then from there, then what we do is we have all these different relationships with the VA, um, sometimes with SOARS, where we have that handoff because it's essentially – if you got someone who's been out there for four or five years and they've been okay, pushing... Okay, oh, Amos, I'm going to have to cut sure. you off now because I've actually given you lots of time. So uh, I can ask Amos, like we always do, uh, stay after the meeting, and everybody can talk to him after the meeting. Uh, that's We have the space for an extra half an hour. Uh, but we, move, we need to uh, also respect the other speakers that are here and get them up. So thank that, you for your time. Let's give Amos a hand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I actually have several projects to be listening to. Okay. Well,